Okay, now for some fun, I'm going to show you some uh, demonstrations. First, I'm going to teach you a little bit about the what makes Norwex different. Um, this is a microfiber cloth, and I'm sure you've heard of microfiber. Uh, if you were to take a, one hair, if you just take one hair, this one, and cut it into six pieces widthwise, that's all you need to do to be microfiber. Our microfiber is one hair cut into two hundredths, so uh, that's small. So in this one cloth, if I were to unravel this, it would go from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. It's got 1,800 miles, which I can't even fathom, 1,800 miles of microfiber. Um, another uh, thing about our claws is the density of them. Uh, it removes up to 99% of the bacteria off of a surface when you use this properly. So you don't scrunch it up like this, like some washcloths. This you just fold in quarters and all the, sur the microfibers pick up um, and remove up to 99% of the bacteria off of the counter. And the third cool thing about our uh, Norwex is that it's made with backlock, which means it's embedded with micro silver. Now, don't freak out about that. It isn't going to get on your skin and harm you. It isn't um, going to wash out when you clean it. It's embedded in this cloth. Okay, so, and that just prevents it from, uh, it self purifies. So, you know, other cloths you use and you have to wash pretty much every day, otherwise they start to stink. Well, these, you use it and then you rinse it under hot water like this and then you wring it out and then you hang it to dry and as it dries the silver kicks in and that's when it doesn't allow bacteria to grow in your cloth. So, okay. I have a few fun demonstrations for you. Okay, so this is raw chicken. I don't know if you can see that, but okay. I don't love touching chicken, but for you and my family, I'll do it. Okay, so here uh, is raw chicken, and I'm rubbing it on this surface. And then I'm going to wipe my fingers on this cloth. Cause... Okay, and I have a test tube. This is a solution that you can test for protein. Oh. Brenna, will you grab me a glass of water real quick? I forgot I needed to dip these in water. I think that works better. So, anyway, this is going to test the protein. And um, if there is protein on the surface, this is going to turn purple. If it's clean with no protein, it will stay this blue color. I think you can see that. Thank you so much. Okay, so here's where I put the chicken. And then I'm going to just put my little swab in my solution. I'm not going to show you. It's a, it's a magic trick. So do you see that? Can you grab it and show it closer? So it's purple. Here, show this one with it. So do you see the difference? So the protein and the not protein. Thank you. Okay, so now we're just going to use water. I do not have any cleaner. I don't have bleach. You guys might think this is gross, but we're not going to be worried about it because I'm going to prove to you. So I'm just going to, that's all I'm, just, that's, you know, just a simple washing. Then I'm going to take this. And this is where the chicken was. I'm going to get all around to make sure it didn't push it to the edges or anything like that. Because sometimes cotton cloths can, uh, some of it will hold in, but others, it just shoves it. So you might maybe clear the surface of it, but it just spreads it. So 
-hmm. Okay, so there is a, just wiping it with water with the Enviro cloth. Maybe if I get out of the way, hold it up a little higher, honey. There you go. So you can see the different colors, okay? And then this is the, oh, I didn't pay attention. I'll do, I think this is the side that I, so I just wanna, I don't remember which side I did, but I'm gonna do both. So I'm gonna um, take out this other test tube and just test again over here, just so that you know, I just set my cloth down on this. So normally, if I'm working with chicken, I'm kind of hypersensitive about it. And so if I were to just have a regular hairy cloth, washcloth, and I just wiped up chicken, and I set it over here, and then you came along with some fruit or vegetables and we're gonna cut up here, I would not feel good about that. So, but it stayed the same color. It's still the, but I needed to show you just to prove to you that I don't have some special solution that I use. I wanna to prove to you that this actually will, I'll put it in the chicken juice on this plate and it turns purple. So you know that I am not trying to pull a fast one on you. Thanks, Nathan. Okay, so, and this, I would never have done this normally before Norwex, but I still have, like, I feel like I maybe have a little chicken juice. I'm just gonna wipe my hands on the cloth that I used to wipe up the chicken. But I, it just, it doesn't cross contaminate. So I'm fabulous with that. So my hands are clean. Okay. So my next demonstration, oh wait, I'm going to tell you, our microfibers have a two year warranty. So, uh, yeah, so I used to buy the bathroom cleaner, kitchen cleaner, um, window cleaner. I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, and I haven't for over two years, I haven't bought any of that product. So, um, I just used my EnviroCloth and a few other items. So, um, now I'm going to do a demonstration with butter and this is my nook, my tablet. As you can see, it's already, it's super dirty with fingerprints and stuff, but I'm just going to add to it and just put some butter on it. I mean, practically it's like our kids' fingers have butter, it looks like. Okay, so you can see, oh yeah, you can see that. Okay, so I'm just going to take my cloth and wipe it. So I'm getting off the fingerprints. And then I'm going to follow up with this. This is our purple window cloth. And there is my nook. So, for your Nook, your smartphone, it depends what is on it. If you have sticky fingers, I say the EnviroCloth and the window cloth. If you just have an adult fingerprint that doesn't have a bunch of food on it, uh, you can use our optic scarf, which clips onto your purse, um, and you can just wipe down your uh, uh, smartphone or your iPad or whatever. Um, but because I have little kids, I tend to like to do it with my Enviro and my window cloth. Okay, so this is the Enviro cloth, the window cloth. This is the basic pack um, that Norwex, it's called the basic pack. I honestly feel like every home should have at least one set of these. Okay, because you just can clean so much stuff. I. I mean, I go to my bathroom and I clean the counter, I clean, well, first I clean the mirror and then I clean the counter and then the sink and then I polish it with my window cloth and I polish my mirror with the window cloth and then I clean my toilet and around my toilet on the floor and then I rinse out my cloth under hot water, wring it out, hang it to dry and the next time I clean my bathroom, repeat, same cloth. You do wash them in the washing machine, but you don't have to after a reuse. That's what is one of the most uh, fabulous things about this. Okay, the next is our dust mitt. This is made out of the same uh, microfiber as this, but it is um, 
more nappy is maybe a way of saying it. Um, so this, is, it goes off of static electricity, so you want to get the static, because that helps it to um, uh, stick to the, the dust to stick to the mat. So you can, if you have two of them, you can rub them together or you can rub it together like this. I'm just going to show you, uh, I didn't pre-dust this for you, and dusting isn't my strong suit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that! So you can see. So it picked up a lot. But look at this. It's not it's not falling off. So that's pretty cool. And that looks much better. Um, so as you're dusting throughout the house, you can pick up stuff and dust it. Um, and then you just can rub it in like this. And then when you get done, um, you either can use the rubber brush to, uh, to wipe it off or just take it outside and hit it out against something hard. Um, this you can use dry to replace your um, uh, your spray polishes or you can mist it. Um, you can use it. One of the things that I love about it is you can use it on a uh, window screen and sopping wet and it really cleans up a screen nicely. Um, make sure you and hear me on that. A screen from your window of your house not a screen. Somebody misunderstood me at one party. I was like, no, 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 not your computer screen. I'm not saying sopping wet. Um, yeah, so that's versatile. This, this, and this together is called our household package. These three together. Okay, and then another thing for dusting is this is called the Enviro Wand, and um, it's chenille, and then it has a smooth surface on the back. But it's pretty neat because you can bend it to your, so, um, however, whatever you want to do it on. I, I was going to show you, but I'm not going to because I think you can just imagine and I don't want to waste your time. But you can take um, and clean your uh, ceiling fan with this. Um, you can do, like on top of this, I could use it, which I'm going to get a lot off of, yeah, because I don't hardly dust. Um, and then here is a fun thing that you can do. You can take off the uh, handle and this hooks on to our telescope mop handle. And so then if you have things to reach up high, like if you have a high ceiling fan, this works fabulous for getting cobwebs out of the corner of your house. Um, it actually works really good outside your house to clean up the spider webs too. So that is the Enviro wand and the uh, window or the Enviro cloth, window cloth, one dust mitt, and an Enviro wand is a package called the Household Package Plus. Okay, so and if you like the Enviro one, that's a great, you know, it saves you some money to get the package. Okay, I'm going to talk about body cloths, and then we'll do the mop just to show you. So, um, I used to do cleanser, toner, moisturizer because that's what I was taught and that's what I thought you had to do to wash your face. And when I heard that you could use Norwex with water, and obviously you don't have to do toner because it's already pH balanced because water is neutral, um, I thought, hmm, I could probably save me some money. So I started using the body cloth and you get it wet and you don't if you have sensitive or dry skin, you don't want to wring it out a lot. If you have oily skin, you could wring it out more. Um, it's just more exfoliating the more water you squeeze out. So you put it under hot water, wring it out, and then this is all I use. So when I take my makeup off, you just, the hot water and you being gentle, don't rub hard. Um, take the makeup off, then I wash my whole face and I wash my body without soap. So that's, and I'm, a, I hate body odor. <laughs> so I'm really thankful it actually does take care of that. So it's miraculous if you ask me. So anyway, so, and the same thing, rinse it, wring it, hang it to dry, and it doesn't allow bacteria to grow. So, um, and if you have a baby in your life, new mom, or if you're a new mom, there's a, uh, these are the baby claws. They're the same thing except a miniature version. 
And I have heard of people using these for baby wipes instead of wipes if they're concerned about using anything with chemical on their baby's bottom. Um, these work, I heard about a gal who went to her mom's and thought Norwex was a hoax. And she used the same cloth on all three of her kids for a week and a half and never washed it and it never stunk. And she just could not believe it. Um, so she was a believer after that. So, okay. I'm going to show you my mop and then we'll call it a done with demos. McKenna? I guess she can. Actually, she can. Oh, I do have one more thing to tell you about before I show you the mop, because the mop will be my last thing. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure, but Kara won this, but it, Levi. It might make Brenna sad, but Kara won this when she was four. And I just wanted, to, I hadn't really learned a lot about the mattress cleaner, but I want to share a few things with you. Um, I need to get some order. So uh, I have a friend who had a child with allergies and he coughed every night. They'd been through the gamut of medications and all different things to try to get him to stop coughing for years. This isn't just a few weeks he was coughing and so they uh, got the mattress cleaner sprayed down his pillow and his mattress and that night he didn't cough so that was pretty amazing but then she had the Kirby salesman come to her house and he asked you know he did his cleaning his thing and then they asked if they could vacuum a mattress and she said well sure so she brought him to her son's mattress and they vacuumed it and somehow it shows um, the Kirby emblem and shows you how much they're sucking up. And he said, this is a new mattress, isn't it? And she said, no, it's not. It's five years old. And he could not believe it because it was so clean. So it's an enzyme that eats the uh, dust mite feces and dead skin cells. It just eats away at it to where, so if you have allergy problems in your home, I would highly recommend, even if you don't, I mean, honestly, if we think about it, it's disgusting that we're laying in body oil and dead skin cells. And, uh, anyway, the more I think about it, the more I really know I need to get some mattress cleaner. But you can um, spray your stuffed animals. You can spray your curtains, your mattress, your pillows, um, your furniture, your car, uh, your kid's car seat, or your vehicle, not leather. But if it's not leather, you can spray it. So anyway. So anyway, that's something new that, it's not new to Norwex, but it's new to me, you know, how great it is. So, now I'll show you the mop, and then we'll let you go. Hmm? You can just pause it. Are you starting again? Okay, now I'm going to show you the mop. So there's a dry mop, a wet mop, and then we also have a tile mop. Um, if you offset it, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can. Then you can flip this up, and if you have baseboards, when you do the, you can just run it on the edge like that, and it will do the baseboards, and then you are going to want to do it in figure eight motions, and then keep everything that you uh, have uh, swept up um, at the front of it. When you're done with the sweeping, you take a if you want, you can either hit it outside or you can get this rubber brush and you scrape it off. Um, and then here's our wet mop. And the same thing, you can wash your baseboards. And then you can come and mop it with the um, wet mop and you can also do that with the tile mop that we have it has it is not anti or uh, backlock it doesn't have silver in it but um, both the let me check I'm pretty sure all of it says it on there um, says it huh well I know the wet one has is backlock I don't see it on there. So the wet one is backlog. Okay. Um, oh, I wanted to 
to show you one more thing. The end of this is, uh, oh, I didn't show you this because I just have it at my level. It's super easy to adjust. So if you want to give your kids a job, it's their level. If you want to give your husband a job, it's his level. It must be super tall, I don't know. And then, um, but if you do it about here, or whatever is most comfortable for you so it doesn't hurt your back. But besides this being an um, adjustable uh, handle, it has this ball on the end. And if you have uh, streaks from people's shoes, you can, it's kind of like an eraser. I actually think it's pretty cool. So yeah, I just had a streak on my floor and I just got it up with the end of my mop. So that is it for my demonstrations. Thank you for watching.